Hi, Gemini. This is your September astrology for 2015, and thank you for listening in. Well, September has a few very strong vibrations to pay attention to. There is a new moon that is a solar eclipse, a full moon that is a lunar eclipse, Mercury is going retrograde, Venus is going direct, and Saturn is going into Sagittarius. So it's a very active month, and even more so for you, because it's just a few months after your birthday, and that few months after your birthday energy is saying, get moving. It's time to get moving. What is it that I need to get done? So it's this push energy, and we start September with the Venus-Mars conjunction in Leo, this essence, it's very fiery, it's very passionate, it's the archetype of the female and the masculine together. Venus and Mars, traditionally, in the old lore, they would always have fights and get back in bed together and have passionate makeup. And But for you, this, this energy can be in your communication with your lovers, your communication with others. The new moon in Virgo, and Virgo and, and Venus goes direct on this on the sixth. So the energy really starts to get get moving on the sixth about moving forward with things. And if you had happened to have had some arguments or disagreements or difference of opinions, they don't even have to be arguments with other individuals that, you know, people that you love and care about, but they don't necessarily see things the same way you do, then Venus going direct for you can be, it's like, okay, let's bygones be bygones. I don't agree with you. You might even slash know that they're wrong from their perspective when you look at the larger picture, but, you know, they'll catch up when they catch up. Everybody... I'm just going to not let that get in the way of our relationship. The solar eclipse new moon is on the 13th. It is at 20 degrees of Virgo. It's very pushing up from you that a desire to get things happening. You may find things happening in your home front. You may f find things happening in your neighborhood. And also, there's this adjustment. This kind of goes back to the Venus Direct, an adjustment energy happening between what your friends would want to do and what you need to get done. So you can find this, okay, I need to, you know, how do I just make everything happen? In addition to that, the solar eclipse is opposite Chiron. Now, this vibration it will illuminate for you or make you aware, make you a conscious, wherever you might feel disappointed around career. Did anything in your home environment pull you back from really being able to what you have always envisioned yourself being able to do, whether it's the job or just life? And you may feel wounded by that or stuck by that in some way. But this awareness energy is to acknowledge that, hey, there's there is a sense of awareness and understanding that even our life as it is, with all the pros and cons, it is who we are. It makes us who we are. And it's our mind that can either support us and saying, hey, I got to find the good in this or pull us down. We have Mercury going retrograde on the 17th. So this Mercury retrograde, this shift. Now, this Mercury retrograde, Mercury goes retrograde all the time. But Mercury is your ruling or three times a year, sometimes four. Mercury is your ruling planet. But Mercury going retrograde in Libra, that is, okay, what about the others? And how can I have some more fun? So there's this rethinking of what to bring into your life that will bring more fun, that will bring more joy. If you're, if you're a parent, then there can be some rescattering of the schedules around parental issues. If you're dating, that also can be that there's coming back 
around to dating dating somebody, but also finding the things that are you enjoy to do in the in dating and in, in the dating environment. Now, it's the same day that Mercury goes retrograde, Saturn goes into Sagittarius, which is a big deal for you because it's opposite your sun sign. It will take two years to complete, so only those who are very early Gemini are going to be feeling it during this cycle. Yet, it's a slow, because it's slow moving, it's saying, take a look at your life, what you're doing, and if you don't like it, make some changes. But to think about it, Saturn says, think about the long term. It's not a spontaneous, sometimes it's a long time thinking and then we make the jump. But it is about thinking about the consequences of if I do this, is it really what I want? Which is reiterated over and over again in many parts of the chart. Also, we have this, we have a Jupiter Neptune opposition this month, which is finding that ideal in life. And it, this comes back from the last full moon that we had of really feeling and exploring that sense of how do I create the ideal with compassion, with vision, and with confidence. The equinox, sun enters Libra at the 23rd. Another very important time is the sun's conjunct the north node in Libra. So it's the last chance energy that we have here of the while the Libra, the North Node is in Libra, of pulling ourselves, getting right relationships in our life, bringing relationships that are fair, that are kind, that are balanced. We move into the last part of the month with Pluto going direct, a big spotlight of Plutonian energy, transformation, depth, intuition, let me look under the covers, really deep understanding of things and this this Pluto energy is very slow moving but it's a good day if you need to understand something that you haven't been able to figure out to do some meditation because the intuition meter is very high on this day we finish the month out with this full moon lunar eclipse in Aries four degrees of Aries and once again, this brings back some of the messages for you of this month about having balance and friendships, being true to yourself of what you need in terms of your heart energy, what you love to do, what you want to do, and having having a the, the full moon, this illumination time between really being able to connect with people and feel that connection and enjoyment. So thank you so much, Gemini, for tuning in and listening. And if I would really appreciate it if you like, share, and subscribe. Thanks.